Hello out there. Um, it's been a while since uh, we posted a video blog. I think the last one was around tour, or after tour, rather. Uh, this video blog is going to focus mainly on the recording of the drums for the album. Let me start off by saying that we are making excellent time on the actual record, and I think that we'll probably have it out by the end of March, early April. Fingers crossed. Some of you don't know, um, Jay, our drummer, who is fantastic and we love having him in the band, um, has never recorded drums before. Um, he's been playing drums for years, but he's actually never been in a recording studio. So leading up to the actual recording, se the first recording session for the drum, I know that he was very apprehensive and nervous about it, which got me a little nervous. He exceeded my expectations and he blew it out of the park and, uh, you know, I'm really proud of him. And I'm pretty much going to turn this blog over to him so that he can sort of talk about his experience recording drums for the first time, what it was like leading up to it. I know he had expressed on several occasions that he was very nervous about it, um, so I'm going to let him sort of share that with you. And how he sort of feels he's progressed, you know, through the last few recording sessions. Well, yesterday was amazing and he really knocked it out of the park and we got four songs done in a five hour span, which is amazing. Something else that was really cool is that we don't um, have the most orthodox recording studio. Basically, if, for those of you who don't, who don't know, um, we record and rehearse in my basement, which is where I am right now. And it's very small, and we don't have a budget, and we don't have the equipment necessarily to mic a drum kit. So we actually did a makeshift drum um, mic setup with two overhead mics and then one down by the bass drum and surprisingly it worked and we were able to pull it off and it picked up all the sounds. I, I was shocked that it picked up everything so perfectly and um, the rough cuts of that the songs sound amazing with the drums so I'm really really excited to get that out to you guys. I think that the next song we release is probably going to be number nine. It's the one that's closest to being done. And it's pretty fucking epic, and it's made me cry every single time I've listened to it. And after listening to it a thousand times in the last month, you would think I wouldn't cry anymore, but I still do. Um, so I guess that that's a good thing. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much what's going on. I mean, I haven't really done too much um, in the recording process. It's basically been focusing on the drums. So I will turn you over to Jay now, and um, I hope you enjoy the footage, and I will see you guys next time. Hi there, everyone. It's Jason. Uh, so I'll be guiding you through a quick tour of our uh, past couple of recording sessions. Um, well, on the first day, I was really nervous, and um, things started out really rough. The uh, bridge is it's, it's too slow. Bridge is too slow? It's not, the tempo is not right on that. Time fake, I am not going to show you the many, many times I messed up. But, um... It was frustrating. I told you it's really hard. It, it really was, isn't that bad, Jay. It's face. not that bad. No, no. <laughs> I promise you, it's not that bad. <laughs> so how do you feel about recording your first drum track ever? <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it's a, a pain in the ass. Actually. <laughs> there is nothing better for your self-esteem than Listening to yourself screw up over and over and over. <laughs> we also had no idea how our makeshift recording studio would sound. Well, the exciting part is we're able to mic drums. <laughs> so, hooray! hooray! We succeeded at something, oh my god! <laughs> hooray, yeah. 2010 is the shit! But things did get better.
Then we moved on to number 9, which went pretty smooth. Second session went, things went much smoother. Excellent, excellent. We did run into some problems with You Belong to Me. The original track wasn't recorded to a metronome, so to record it, I needed Jeff and Rob playing live very quietly behind me. Um, so that was an experiment in itself. I love our experiments. We're, we, so... we are really good at just <laughs> figuring shit out. We're like we're like music scientists. <laughs> It's kind of awesome. Bellicose went really smooth, but we wanted to incorporate some different sounds in for the uh, percussion in that song. So we wound up taking items out of Jess's kitchen. You're going to have to check out the album to see how yeah, that turned out. All in all, I'm super happy with how things sound so far, and I'm really excited for everyone to hear this stuff. I was um, really, really, really nervous when um, we started recording this, and frightened, even though I've been playing for a long time. It was um, a scary experience to suddenly have everybody focusing on me. Uh, usually when we play, nobody pays any attention to me, um, and, um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this stuff, and we're recording some more drums in a couple of days, so look for more. Bye. <laughs>